Repeat business. Now it's all very well, isn't it? You know, attracting loads of business, converting them into paying customers, having a selling loads at the, you know, at the, the, the offset, you know, big, big package of PT, getting a few referrals, but what happens if they, they stop purchasing, they don't come back? Um, you're having to go back to here again, attracting more business. Now I'm in a position at the moment where I, I just do a little bit of PT now. Um, I keep, keep my PT going because I, I really enjoy it. I like doing this stuff too, but I really like PT. Um, and I don't have to actively look for new business at the moment because I've got enough PT clients that I, 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 I need. Um, so all I do or have to worry about is this one. I just have to worry about the repeat business. And it, it does make life a lot easier. If your customers just keep coming back to you, I don't really have to worry about any of this. So in an ideal world, you get yourself fully booked and then you just keep focusing on the repeat business. So how do we do that? How do we get the repeat business? Well, this really comes down to making sure that you're doing your job really well. And how do you do that? Well, you gotta make sure your clients get results. You gotta build a rapport with your clients. You need to make sure that you've got a really good connection with you and your clients. Um, you uh, add some little personal touches in there. Remember their birthdays, uh, you know, reward them. Give them a training top when they achieve a goal that's got your brand on it so they, they, they belong to your organization, they'll feel part of you. So this is all about the, the customer's journey and making them feel valued, getting in their results, maintaining regular communication and connecting with your customers. So make sure you focus on that. Now you might also want to sell them something else. So you might think, well actually, um, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a cutthroat term, but we can call it an upsell in the sales word. You can upsell them to something else. So it might be that you uh, started selling some uh, nutritional packages well online, so you might sell them one of those. It might be that you start selling some equipment as well, some just little bits and pieces like skipping ropes, um, you know, uh, pedometers, that type of thing. Or, or your training tops, if you don't want to give them away, you know, perhaps sell them. Um, so there, there's other bits and pieces that you can do as well to try and boost your sales. So that's your repeat business, really important.